Okay, so what we're going to do here is show y'all, this is a male Rhodesian Ridgeback with a female who's just a few days in the heat. So we're going to let her out. This is after chow, so always after chow, it's a little rambunctious. We're going to let them play a little bit. You'll see how the, the, the female at this point is not an acceptance. She's in her first week of, of, of her cycle, so she's not ready to accept him yet. Let's see if we can get him outside to play a little bit. Come on. Come on, Dave. Dave, come on. Come on, Jules. Come on, let's go. Let's go. You got to go to the bathroom anyways. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Dave. Come on. Come on. Okay. Here they are, they got a little, got a little rain going on. So we'll see how Dave acts here. At this point, she's not in any type of accepting mode or anything. But he's still going to play with her a little bit. Come on, Dave. Come on, guys. Here goes Dave, he's going to try to prematurely maybe try to mount her, but she's not going to accept. Of course, she's smelling all the spots to see where she's been. Come on, Jules. Come on, Jules. This is what you can expect to see during the first couple of days of a cycle. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be the first time she's breeding. And Mother Nature kind of allows her to know what to do. So our breeding hounds are very closely packed. We, we don't have to worry about anything bad happening. And there she goes telling him, nope, you're not going to. It's not time yet. But still being a little, a little frisky. <laughs> Come on, Jules. Come on. Let's go one, two, three. Come on, Jules. Come on. Come on, Jules. I know you gotta go to the bathroom. You been to the bathroom yet? Uh huh. Did mommy let you out earlier? Come on. Come on, Julia. Julia, come on. I got you. Come on. Oh, mommy must have already let you out, huh? This is what you can be expecting during the first couple days of her cycle. What we're going to try to do is a little series here of each day as we move towards the uh, point of ovulation, which in the ninth to the eleventh day. We're only in like the, the third day at the most. weather going on here as you can see the sky so they're not getting out on the grass not gonna have much of a performance here you need to go pee pee come on come on Julia come on Julia being very cautious of where he's at all the time
And of course, he is what we call a working stud. He knows when the right time will come, and you'll be seeing that in future videos to come. So there you go, folks. There's another video. This is the second and a half day of her cycle. not have to keep them separated like I said because the pack is a very organized pack a, a, a pretty adapted to what they're, they're, they're supposed to be doing by mother nature plus watching their elders breed it's a combination of the two things Big up and there goes Dave. <laughs> she says, I don't think so. There we go. We get a little playing action now. Dave says, Come on, baby. Come on, baby. what we call her decent foreplay there when they lick on the ears and a lot of them like to take the female's ear and put it in their mouth and suck on it seems like the female likes that I don't think she's quite getting the attention she'd like to have but David's cool hand Luke isn't that right, big boy? David is a true liver-nosed Ridgeback. A lot of people get confused of what a liver-nosed Ridgeback is. They think brown-nosed Ridgebacks are liver-nosed, but a liver-nosed Ridgeback has a liver nose, and they also have liver toes. And their testes are also blocked as to where your black noses have black toes and, and black testes. Same thing with a brown nose. A, a brown nose won't have these type of toes you see here. These guys are blonde all the way through. Or red, if you will. And here we are, as we promised. This is our Second and a half day of the cycle. And this is what you <clears throat> should look for if you're expecting uh, a good breeding. And we are. Okay, guys? You want to come inside? Come on. It is getting chilly and wet. so We'll show you how they act when they get inside. Baby Jules, where are you at? Dave? Whew. I think we need so much air conditioning tonight. Dave's licking up on all the spots that she's dripped. Trying to get a good sense of the timing. There we go, folks. And until tomorrow, we'll do another video for you so you can see the day-by-day -day evolvement into the day of breeding. I hope this is helpful for all the beginners out there so you know how this should go. And there goes Miss Jules. And we're getting ready to lay down for the night.
Easy, Jules, don't fall over. Until tomorrow, folks, have a good night from hunterson